Regeto, it's a HTTP file server. It's a lightweight software that turns your computer into a file server accessible through a web browser. In 2014, a vulnerability was identified in this web application, allowing the execution of operating system commands by exploiting the native exec function and the, using the no byte technique. So let's see how it works. Let's do it. So let's do it, guys. So let me here with the IP address 10.10.8, 10 which is the machine where is running the web application. Uh, we can see that the TTL is 127. Probably this is a Windows machine. Let me check this web application. HFS, HTTP file server. 2.3 if we control u on this web page we can see that there is some kind of uh, technology of web server let me just see if i can find some reference here maybe i can check about the technology and if you check here we have this rigero so let me just open this like this web link and see what it is about it is about okay i'm back here uh, there is a login page i'm gonna open a new tab you can try add me add me here but it didn't work you can cancel let me reload this page I'm just open a new private window just to be sure there is no cache things here. 10.10.10.8, right? Uh, uh, all of the traffic is being intercepted by burp suites. You can see all of the things here on HTTP history. Uh, let's see about this this web server. It's a HTTP file server right it runs on windows linux and mac let me just check about this specific version of this http file server let me close these things it's not will it's not helping us there is a an exploit here on exploit db we have the CVE 2014-6287. Let me check about this. Let me Google and understand what is that. Uh, we have here description: the find the macro marker function in parse lib in Regido HTTP file server. All right, allows remote attackers let me check it this uh, allow remote attacks to use arbitrary programs via all right no byte again in our ch channel here on youtube section search action right i can use this no byte to to break the the line and um, uh, execute codes remote code execution on, on the box so let me understand how the exploit works basically it it access the web application here you can pass the IP address the port there's a search box here let me see where is the other thing yeah if I just search, right, the no byte should be inserted here. Let me continue this this thing. After this, we are using some brackets here, which are being concatenated to VBS scripts. There is a function here, exec, with a pipe. 
after this we can insert our VBS script and run so let me try mount this URL and use these exploits maybe I just can copy this like this uh, Zach plus VBS2 no I'll need this let me just copy everything here and I'll try mount them here uh, it's okay search no white plus this thing is not necessary here because I you insert Zach with the pipe the plus is not necessary here I'm gonna insert something like a who am I command or whatever whatever operation oper operational system command let me see here the VBS is not necessary I think it is all of the symbols too let me just try ping there c1 my IP address 10 10 14 14 2 and that's the payload let me see here I can just change this thing and now this this payload will ping my my machine so I need to start here the TCP dump with the interface interface tongue zero uh, TCP, all right I sh must to be the roach user and let me start this again TCP dump dash I with the interface tongue zero and let me see if I can ping myself and great it's working so the next step is we get a reverse shell in this in this web application this machine so let me try find uh, let me go for PowerShell uh, Nishan reverse shell maybe this one is what I'm looking for let me get the raw of this file I can let me make it there make the IR uh, I'm just name this like shell CD shell and I can that we will get and save this script let me nano the thing and we have some examples here and the, what I want is a reverse shell of TCP let me see here I can use this but using my IP before the IP address of my machine is 10.10.14.2 10, again we can see here the IP of my machine where I got from the VPN connection and that's all I can control here control X and save this now I need to EIR Python start a web server using Python 881 no let's see 
let me see who is using this port mm, right let me try and grab for 8081 I can kill this man let me see again if it's everything you're running yeah that's okay now I can start my web server using this port I'm gonna split the terminal and here I need to list them in the port that I that I set on my reverse shell script that's okay now what I need is what I need is uh, execute the reverse shell which is hosted in, in my web server on port 8081 and the, this TCP port listening is waiting for some connection right so let me just google here right I'm just gonna google I'm not google I will use my github github.github.com slash one ug1 slash youtube it's my repository here in my in github d dot ps1 download and execute command we can see that there is a full path of windows powershell in windows uh, basically it's located in windows uh, system 32 windows powershell version version 1.0 we have here invoke expression to download the string and execute so let me just copy this uh, back to the payload I'm gonna change this pin for all of this common the IP address of my machine is 10 10 14 2 the the file doesn't matter because I just need to see if it works let me hit here nothing happened that's because I didn't change the port uh, the default port is 80 I am using 8081 in my Python web server and it got, it got logs here so what I need to do here now is hit ctrl c dir let me use this name of the file because I just forgot about 8081 let me back here uh, and just change the name of the file and go let me see uh, the command downloads the invoke powershell tcp.ps1 and execute that and we can see you got a shell ipconfig config and we are inside the machine so uh, that's all guys thanks for watching my video and see you next bye bye